Hello and welcome PML fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and we ready for week one of PML. Uh, we're doing a test league this season to start off the year because we want to make sure we get tearings and everything right before we start competing for the trophy. But this is still going to be as competitive as can be. So we are about to fight the Arca Niners 52. And they go by Jesse in this game. And they brought a very terrifying team. Everything I expected, honestly. But still terrifying nonetheless. Um, I don't know what he might lead. Uh, I could assume the Don fan. Or even a Gyarados. Or... Hell, even, even the Valorant. Valiant. He could just fire off with some amazing attacks. Either or, um, I'm going to lead with John Deere, our Rotom Mo. And good luck, have fun to you. And this is our week one of PML. We're so excited to be back. We're so back. We're so ready. If you've been noticing, we do have other uh, draft league battles going up. We had the MPA. We've already done two weeks of that. So this will be the first week of PML. And we are very excited, very happy to get it going. And we shall see how we kick off with this season. I drafted pretty cool. Uh, I was actually the first in line. And uh, we got Roaring Moon. Pick one. And then the pick right after, we got Doc Bun and Rever Room. So we finished our core like right out of the gate. <clears throat> Hair Witch was not originally drafted, but uh, I couldn't get Gyarados myself. Arcaniners beat me to it. So. Uh, I ended up getting Cloyster, but then I was like, you know what? I I'll just get something else instead. So, good luck, have fun, and we'll see how this goes. Now we are into this battle. Intro over. Battle time now. And here's the crazy part. Because anything can terrestrialize. Anything at all. So does he go hard dragon dance here and Terra into ground? Uh, what does he do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and bolt switch. He withdraws. Okay, so he's not. he didn't want to Terra there. So he's going to go Haxor now. And Mold Breaker, so he could have hit us with Earthquake. But we get some Chunk off on him. And we swap. So now, let's see who we're going to go to here. Um, I kind of want to go to... I kind of want to go to... I'm going to go to Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf is faster than everything on this person's team. And we can honestly hit really, really hard right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Flare. If they Terra, they Terra. But that's the thing. Who is it? Who are they going to Terra? Who are we going to Terra? Um, we'll find out. <laughs> Because even Paradox forms and everything in Terra, which I'm sure will change, because Terra's already busted as it is. But we get the play rough off. Haxorus goes down, so that's one major threat out of the way, right out of the gate. We lose some HP, but we we lose we we down a Pokemon. So fantastic for us. Now let's see what we deal with here. Does he go back into the Gyarados? If he does, we probably switch. Um, honestly, I, I think we swing because he might just uh, Dragon Dance to take advantage. He goes Dawn Fan. 
All right, so Don Fan is the one he go they go to, and that is interesting. That is very interesting. Um, I'm gonna go back to John Deere. <clears throat> he can't hit us with earthquake. Uh, Ice Shard would hurt, but I doubt he would predict straight to Rotom. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we swap. John Deere Green. He goes knockoff. So okay, our scarf is gone, which is a very safe place on his part. And I'm just gonna hit Leaf Storm. We should still be faster than Don Fan. And if we could kill this thing, that'd be great. Oh, it lives on one sturdy. Nice. Can it kill us in return? I'm pretty sure. No, it just decides to get the stealth rocks up instead. <clears throat> so that's fine there. I'm not too worried about the stealth rock. And I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap into... I'm going to swap into Purebred. We, get, we still have uh, Volt Switch, Pivot, if he re he's running uh, Adamant Gyarados. So, we're going to have to deal with that there. We get knocked off, but that's not a problem. Hits our leftovers, but we still have... Uh, we still have stuff for that, so. Don Fan gains a little bit of health back. We're going to go ahead and keep the pressure on. We're going to body press. So down goes the Don Fan. Don Fan doesn't kill anything, but we get a kill there, so. Purebred gets a hit. Where do they go to now? He could go to Gyarados. And honestly, that would be bad. Surledge. Okay, they go to Surledge instead, which is nice. I much prefer that. So I'm going to wish. And see what they decide to do. We are uh, well-baked, so we won't get hit by... Oh, shit. Okay, that's scary. Um, we won't get hurt by the... What do you call it? And I'm going to go into Sandcastle. Take the hit and red card this thing out. You are very defensive. Bitter Blade, fine. Oh, hoo, hoo. that did a lot. But we red carded out, so. Okay, it goes straight to Gyarados there. We're going to get health back. And... We're going to go ahead and go Ancient Power. That'll hit this thing super effectively, at least, unless it tears. Oh, and here comes the Dragon Dancing. That's the scary part. All right, go Ancient Power. That does a decent hit. Did we get the boost? Oh, we get the boost. Oh, we got the boost. Wow, how about that? First turn hitting an Ancient Power, and we get the boost. I'm going to go ahead and Ancient Power again. Waterfall. Oh, we did not take that well at all. Even with our ability Water Compact. Okay. 
Okay. Now we go to Lone Wolf. And we Excel Rock. They could Terra here. But I'm going to hope um, it still hurts it enough to knock it out. But I'm sure they're going to Terra here. So let's see what the Arcaniners decide to do. It'd be great if they didn't Terra here. Maybe they're calculating to see if they'll live even if they Terra. Depends on what they Terra type into. Yeah, they're Terra. Oh my god, they're Terra. What are they Terra into? Steel. Water. Okay. It's a neutral hit. We are adamant max attack. Um, life orb, tough claws. Oh, but just not enough. We should have changed our terra typing. Oh, that's dangerous. All right. Now I believe it's going to be. No, it's still plus one. So it's only plus one. It's not Moxie. Oh, it died to its own life orb. Yes. All right, so that's not as bad as I thought. That's not as bad as it could have been. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into Nightwing here. And I'm gonna find out what Surledge has. Surledge. Does it have it has fire, psychic, ghost? It could have X scissor. It could have X scissor. And brick break. Okay, so we're definitely tearing on it if he brings that in. But we're gonna D dance. Oh no, he brings in Magnazone. Okay, Protosynthesis goes off. I did not see a air balloon. So I'm going to Earthquake. It, it is another sturdy Pokemon though, so you got to be wary of that. He might Thunder Wave us. Oh no, he doesn't. It's not sturdy. Oh, sweet. Oh, good thing I didn't get greedy and Dragon Dance there. We're still plus one speed, so we're going to be faster than the Valiant. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. Roaring Moon. Pick one. Can you sweep the rest of this game? We're about to find out. Uh, I gend it so even if he has plus speed booster energy, uh, we're still faster. I believe. Iron Valiant. Okay. Here we go. Uh, speed was heightened. So we should still be faster, I believe. If not, that's why we're flying Terra. So we can live any hit. From full and we should be able to revenge kill it with acrobatics if we're not fast for some reason look at our balloon it goes combat does nothing because we're flying type now and this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt them really badly. Acrobatics. Gone. Iron Valiant. No longer a problem. Off the field. And that was their first pick. Right there. 
I was potentially gonna pick that first, but I was like, you know what? Roaring Moon just looks so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go with that first. And now I'm going to go uh I'll go crunch, because I think we still keep our stab. Yeah, I'm gonna go crunch. Oh focus dash. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to get a speed boost, but we should still be faster on the next turn. Oh, no. It killed us. Do we lose here? Like, do we just straight up lose to this thing now? I think we lose. I think we lose. Um... Oh wow, I think we lose. Because nothing else is going to be able to take hit, and your bread can't hit it. So, good enough. Um, John Deere, let's, let's be faster. If we're not faster, I think we lose. It all comes down to this. Man, and we were so hyped for a second. And that focus sash came in clutch, though. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right. Okay. Focus sash coming clutch. Ah, we lost our cell rocker to Gyarados, but it was necessary evil there because we needed to get that thing out of the way. And Bitter Blade, I think, Oko's the rest of my team. Well, it's fire type. So, I mean, still. Uh, let's see. Let's see. He, I mean, they could just go a uh, ghost type move and obliterate me. No, they're going bitter blade again. Interesting choice. I mean, we can't ulco it from this range, though, so. Oh, we did a good chunk. We should have went straight into Hatcherine after that last hit. That's what we should have done. But we didn't. We didn't. Well, I think that's going to be GG's. Because uh, I don't think uh, we can live. It's going to live this hit, I think. Oh, we crit! Oh, wow. All right. So we won our first game, but thanks to a crit. So, sorry, Jesse. GG. Um, don't like to win that way. But, as I always say, we take those. All right. I'm, I'm not going to be mad about winning, but definitely they deserve that win there. But, I guess, New England Chartridge, we start off 1-0. Uh, very crucial 2-0 victory there. Um... And yeah, guys, great first week from PML, I guess. We just got lucky on that one. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, pay attention to all those NPA battles we're doing, too, because that's a whole completely different team that we're trying to make work that we draft terribly. But, you know, we're going to get there. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.